morning. It's seven in the morning. I'm super tired and we're on our way to Halong Bay today. It's like the famous, gorgeous, touristy, super tourist trappy spot in northern Vietnam. And we booked our Airbnb host, recommended a tour. It's an overnight. We booked it. It seems like it's going to be the t most touristy thing we've done on this trip. It's got Western breakfast and buffet dinner and unlimited beer kegs and karaoke and all kinds of stuff. But you know what? When in Rome, we're really up for it. I'm going to show you what us doing something really touristy is like. We're going to see how the other half lives. As usual, Luna is still totally passed out. Boom, bow, boom, bow, boom. Three degrees outside and on the bus is like 18. Like I need socks to be on this bus. You know? It's too sleepy. So let me check everybody is sure on the bus or not. I'm Mr. Anavon. <laughs> uh, Mr. Everyone Johan that that we're on like a real like full on tourist tour. Uh, Miss, uh, getting roll call. Natalia? Like it's really on. Miss, and uh, it's also still 15 Goldie degrees on this bus. I'm just waiting for them to pull out a pizza buffet. Classic tour bus fashion. They dropped us off somewhere to buy things. This is basically like a giant department store duty-free shop on the side of the highway en route to Halong Bay. They like got their shit together in terms of like, let's get the money out of these tourists as much as possible. Oh. Now we're at the dock where there's more stuff to buy. We're taking this hint. Well, we made a friend and now we've been separated. This is everyone who's coming with us. We still haven't gotten anywhere yet. We're just still going in a group. Lots of hurry up and wait. You calling out for Dave still? Dave's gone. Dave, we're tour guide. You look great, buddy. Got two single beds in it. Uh, I splurged. In. A lot of these rooms are shared. Like when you sign up for this tour, you get a shared room. So it'd be like a single bed that Luna and I would share, and then another person would be here. But they don't actually allow parents with kids. Oh look, this opens. This is nice to come on these boats. As you can see, beautiful view of nothing. They don't allow them to come on these boats and share rooms, which is fine with us because I would always get my own room. Uh, there's, you know, air conditioning, fan. I thought this was really cute. There's like a little closet here, but when I opened it, life jackets. And behind this fake bamboo wall is our shower and bathroom. So it actually, I'm not gonna lie, the boat feels really small and the railings look super easy for a child to slip out of. It's also only about 22, 23 degrees outside and we're supposed to be going swimming today and it's overcast and I'm not really into it, but we're going to make the best of it. It's going to be great. I'm excited for lunch. I'm excited to meet some of these people, even though it's, you know, it's that nervous vibe. It's a small group. We're the only family here. It's a lot of the things I don't love about these tourist package things, you know? Um, not that I'm like, need help with my bags because I only brought this one. But getting on and off of a boat with a toddler, nobody's grabbed my bags for me, you know. It's every man for themselves. It's mostly people that are traveling without children. That's what tourism is all about. It's people traveling at a time when they don't have kids. Either their kids are grown or, you know, and they're elderly or they're too young to have children. So it's, it's not that it isn't child friendly like you can't bring a kid. Of course, Luna's totally welcome here. It's that people can't anticipate your needs as a parent and when you're a parent, with a small child, you need all the help you can get.
My good friend Laura from uh, Watching Ivy Grow, who's a great writer and a traveler and has been all over the world with her three-year-old daughter, she told me that Halong Bay was the most touristy thing she did on the trip and still the most breathtaking, and now I know exactly what she means. all over the side at night when it's dark. Just a tiny splash. Ugh, scary. It's really calming and peaceful and beautiful out here. It's hard to say it's not majestic. It, even with all the tourist boats and the lineups and you know the food was okay and you know all that. Even with all that it's still like pretty majestic. If you're keeping score, we're here, and so is everybody else. Everyone's got the memo, and we're all gonna go in one direction, and Dave is pressuring me to move faster even though nobody else has a kid. I'm coming with you one way I got you. I'm not gonna stray. Hates me. Hates me. I don't know if you can see him, that's Dave. Hates me. <laughs> friends! Everyone's here. Teresa. Hi, friends. <laughs> friends! Friends! What do you think? Yeah. There's no tablet. We're in a giant cave. What do you think? Yeah. No, there is no tablet. Oh, yeah. Look how cool it is. We made it to the top. Just in time for Luna to pass out. Perfect. Oh, and everybody else is here. Wait, Luna's saying, look, we found Lauren. This is my buddy from the bus. <laughs> <laughs> she was like making it manageable. <laughs> now we're on different boats. Not as manageable. Luna, as she knows Luna, but as you know, Luna sees all the sights. <laughs> okay, so we had to get off the boat even though Luna is sleeping because there's really nowhere to be except at this beach. And it's only about 20 degrees outside, so I mean, obviously, I'm not swimming. I'm just gonna look for a place to sit down. I was gonna say this tourism clusterfuck is like not the look for us. It's not our thing. Thanks, Dave. So go inside there. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Thanks, Dave. Also, we're being rushed constantly by Dave. <laughs> But yeah, here we are. It's, you know, it's still really beautiful. It's just like, this is just really fake and shitty and it's not, not us. It's just not. We'd rather just sit on the side of the road and eat some noodles with some people in the neighborhood and have the kids play in the street. We got in, I laid her down and she woke up immediately. Now there's supposed to be like a welcome back cocktail going on. To be honest, I'm mostly just tired. I'm ready to just lie down in my room and be away from people. We'll see what uh, Dave's got in store for us now. With Dave. Are you eating a cracker while I have a mouthful of wine?
a pretty decent dinner, and the people on this boat are really cool, and it's just a small group, and tomorrow, don't turn it off! Tomorrow, we're getting up to more fun. Right, Luna? You jerk. <laughs> day two and we're at the kayaking adventure except Luna and I are not kayaking because they don't have a life jacket for her and if she fell over you know I just don't know if I could get out of a kayak fast enough to grab her by myself you know what it was great to wake up on the water and the boat is wonderful and we had a wonderful night's sleep it's really nice to be out here on the water even just to have a moment alone um, and it's nice that it's not filled with people today and it's a little bit more chill, but it is really hard to be out here yeah. with a small child uh, just running around. I would never come back and do something like this again, ever. But, you know, you're always gonna get a nice photo with this as the backdrop. We came to a pearl farm and there's lots of really beautiful stuff I could show you about pearls and how that they harvest them here, but the wharfs were really, really thin and there was no sides and Luna insisted on running along and it was just too dangerous. So we came upstairs on this barge and there's a restaurant where they're playing Enrique Iglesias and you know, our boat captain bought her some Oreos and I'm having canned black coffee and that's it, this guy's chain smoking and that's what's going on. And to be honest, it's actually okay with me. Like, it's just nice and chill up here. I, the one thing that I really learned about parenting that's great is if you just let go of your expectations and then it's almost always great. So we're having, she's having a fantastic time even though we haven't been swimming, we couldn't go kayaking. I learned nothing about pearls. You know, we've actually been having a really nice time out on these barges surrounded by, I mean, how long Bay is enough. It's enough on its own. I don't need anything else. Okay, we are back from the How Long Bay trip. We've had a bath and we are flying out first thing in the morning. And all I have to say about that trip was that it was the absolute worst trip that Luna and I have ever been on. And I will never be doing one of those tourist things again with her. I mean, I could probably rant forever why it was awful. And I mean, there's a million reasons, but the main reason is that the people those trips are geared towards don't have kids. Therefore, the trips are not set up for people with kids and you're not gonna get any help if you do have kids on them. I, what I realized on this trip was that so many people write to me and say, how do you do it? Aren't you scared? I'm scared to travel with my kid, blah, 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 blah. And I'm always like, why are they scared? Like everybody helps you everywhere in the world. Like it's so fun to travel with your kid. You don't have to do the tourist stuff. You're immediately accepted into a community. You get cooler tips on stuff to do. You got a buddy to do stuff with. But I know now why. Because when they think about traveling with their kid, they think about going to what we just went to. And you know what? It was awful. It was awful. It was wall to wall awful. It was awful being on the boat. The best time we had was being in our room alone at night and like, we can do that anywhere. I did not need to pay over a hundred US dollars to have my best time going to bed at night. You know, the way it was set up wasn't kid friendly. Uh, the food wasn't that great. The people running the tour, the main guy definitely didn't have children. And he was constantly hurrying us along. No one even helped me get on and off a boat, which we got on and off of boats all day long. You know, kayaking isn't for kids. Uh, we went to this pearl farm, it wasn't for kids. Like everything about it wasn't good for kids. And you can tell that people don't bring their kids. And 
I think about it and I, I the whole time I was like this is why people are scared to travel with their kids because this is the tourist experience of traveling they didn't even give us chopsticks on that boat I was like how are people seeing Vietnam how are people doing this and thinking they are seeing Vietnam it was awful it was awful I'm not gonna name the name of the cruise because it doesn't matter there was hundreds of identical ones and uh, yeah, all I'm gonna say is that I get it now. I get why people are scared. I get it. I'm scared of that shit too. But don't worry, if you keep watching this channel, you will always get tips on how not to end up in that ring of hell. If you like this channel, like it. If you wanna share it, I'm never gonna be mad at that. You know, subscribe to us. We're fun. Luna, you wanna say goodbye? She's no. like, no. No? You want to say adios, baby? No, adios, baby. You want to say we're going to be back in Guatemala no, really bye, soon? No, bye-bye, baby. No, bye-bye, baby. Bye-bye, baby. No, bye-bye, baby. I love you. No, bye-bye.